I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Just trying to clean up this cut. God. What were you all even fighting? It's never been this bad before. <sighs> Could have been worse. And their weapons weren't poisoned or anything, right? Good. But that doesn't explain why this cut looks as bad as it does. <sighs> I told him not to be so reckless. Yeah, that's the problem. He never listens to me. He doesn't care. He'll keep doing it, and I'm going to have to keep picking up after him. I mean, what else can I do? It's not like I can just not let him out. <sighs> I'm not going to learn how to fight just for that. Huh. <sighs> I don't want to watch people die. It's fine. I'll suck it up. I can deal with a couple of scratches. It's easier. If my only choices are seeing myself killing people or letting him slaughter people for the fun of it, I'd rather it be the one where I can at least feel a little bit less guilty. I'd be killing the same people either way, so might as well let the one who actually enjoys it do the killing. And if it's just me out there, I wouldn't be able to help at all. I can't really do much in battles without him. No, you don't have to say that. He's the only one who can actually help you out there. I'm fine with sticking to navigation and handling our finances. <sighs> He's still a part of me, and if he can contribute to the cause, then I'm fine with letting him take over. Look, I appreciate the sentiment, but I think he's here to stay. And it's because of him that we have a place here that's not just for mundane stuff. You really don't have to be like that. I'm fine with it. And besides, you wouldn't be okay with me locking him away forever anyway. Yeah, because you like him, right? Oh, don't give me that look. I know you do. You're not exactly good at hiding it. You always look flustered whenever it switches back to me, and it's not like that before I make the switch to him. That, and he's told me a few times how you'll just be standing there, helpless in the middle of a fight, whenever he happens to be nearby. Are you trying to get him to save you again? Um, yeah. What other explanation is there? You've never done that in front of anyone else as far as I know. I hate to break it to you, but he doesn't think that it's cute. He thinks you need to get your head checked. Very thoroughly. His words, not mine. But honestly, you might want to rethink your preferences. Because he's not that great of a guy. And I mean it for your safety. He might mess with your head. Though, he probably already has if you're that into him. Well, he kinda... You know, actually, never mind. <sighs> anyway, it's pretty risky if you want to be with him. Plus, you know, there's the whole it being me thing. I mean, I don't really mind. I don't have to experience it for myself. Wait, 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 no, 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 that came out wrong. Uh, I mean that you don't have to worry about making me uncomfortable with it. You don't have to feel bad about it. We're still part of the same person. So, you like me, in a way. 
Yeah, I guess that sort of means that you think I'm good looking, right? No, no, I didn't mean to make this weird. I'm just giving you the okay, but it's at your own risk. Just as a warning, he probably won't be too happy about being brought out right now. He's gonna expect another scolding from you. <sighs> I really don't get you sometimes. All of this just because he saved you once? Then what else? God, you're weird. Honestly, he's probably going to say the same thing to you. Just giving you a heads up. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, and please, take as long as you need. The less time I have to deal with the residual pain, the better. Whew. Of course. Let me guess. He bitched about the cut, didn't he? Can we just get this over with so I can get back to taking my break? I need a nap after all those mobs, and I don't feel like dealing with the pain any longer. He might as well make himself useful in some way, better than sitting back and mooching off of me all day. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Cat got your tongue before you could defend him. Or is it possible that you agree with me? <laughs> then go ahead and yell at me. I'm waiting. If you're not going to, then let me get back to what I was doing. I don't need to have my time wasted. What do you want, then? Make it quick. You don't need to tell me anything. Just tell him instead. Oh? Then what is so important that I need to hear it? Are you going to say it? Or not. Then quit beating around the bush. So what is it? Ha. <laughs> oh, that is not what I was expecting to hear today. Oh, but I guess it had to happen at some point. What? Did you think I couldn't tell? I'm not stupid. <laughs> you make it so painfully obvious. Gotta give him some credit for picking up on it too. But if even he sees it, then you know it's bad. What did you do to tip him off? <laughs> Come on, what was it? Oh, don't be shy with me. You were so brave when you confessed just a moment ago. Where's all of that now? All right, then tell me, what happened? Did you call out for me in your sleep and scare him or something? Oh... <laughs> Even better. I always wondered how badly I got under your skin. Good to know how long that lasts. Maybe I should try it now and see it with my own eyes. See, I like that. You look really cute when you're all scared and vulnerable. Not like that fake and distressed look that you put on in battle when you're trying to get my attention. I prefer it when it's genuine. <laughs> yeah. It makes you look like the enemy when they know that they're about to die. But in your case, 
I get the chance to see it over and over again. <laughs> it gives me a rush. And even more so if I can get something else out of it. Oh, but you like being in that position, don't you? That feeling of being in danger so you can live out your fantasy of being rescued again? How do you feel about being put in danger and staying there? Want me to show you? Let's start by feeling around your neck for a pulse. <laughs> right there. It's beating so fast. Are you nervous? No. Oh, you wouldn't mind if I kissed you here, would you? <laughs> you know, it would be really easy to just bite you right here and let your blood spill all over. You've seen what I can do to people. Think about how close I am to doing it to you. Scary. Isn't it? But that's not what you want, right? You like the idea of being saved by someone much stronger than you. Maybe if you knew the person who could do all sorts of terrible things to their enemies wouldn't lay a finger on you, you'd feel safer. I wonder... Would doing this... Put you at ease, or scare you even more. Mm. So, which is it? <laughs> you are so weird. But I guess that's what it takes to be into someone like me. I think he'd be thrilled to have you around for more of this. So, it shouldn't be a problem. There's a lot of things we share outside of our body, despite our differences. And I don't think he'd mind sharing you, if you're interested. Maybe give him a quick kiss when we switch again. <laughs> But for right now, it's my turn to have you. I'll hold out through the pain. It'll be worth it this time around. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Skyrun. Thank you all so, so much for listening to yet another one of my audios. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and comment your favorite part or what you want to hear from me next. Special thank you goes out to all my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Creek, Lunar, Minoan, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and an adventurer. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me, be you patron or not. If you're interested in getting Not Safe for Work extras or even audios early, be sure to check out my Patreon. It'll be in my link tree in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.